Hello, 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 my lovely, lovely friends. Thank you for joining me here on A Journey in Light. My name is Joy. Hello. Today we are doing my favorite reading, the week ahead reading, what you can expect in the next seven days from the time you're watching this reading. Um, things to keep in mind, things to look out for, all kinds of stuff. Um, this will be on life as well as there's like a little love section too. And then after the cards, I also pull um, initials and charms uh, to get some more insight to things that will be going on in your week um, and possibly with who. So um, again, I have three piles for you guys today. Pile one, we have this clear quartz heart here with a lot of inclusions, really cool looking. Pile two, I have um, this uh, eye of Shiva, which is a fossilized shell that's in a heart shape for pile two. Pile three is this green onyx heart, really neat, kind of looks like the earth going through there, really pretty. So again, pile one, pile two, pile three. Take a deep breath, go with whichever pile you're drawn to the most. If you really feel yourself drawn to more than one pile, feel free to watch more than one. You could just have a really busy week um, there, or there could just be something in another pile that you need to hear or needed to understand. The timestamps will be in the description box below. You just click the more button, open up the description box and it'll take you, or you'll see the timestamps and click on your timestamp and it'll take you right to your spot in the reading. So again, pile one, pile two, and pile three. I'll leave these up for a moment and if you need more time feel free to pause the screen and uh, take all the time you need and then I will see you at your pile. Bye guys! Hello my lovely friends for pile one. You guys picked this clear quartz heart very beautiful. Gotta love clear quartz. It's such an amazing crystal just for so many things and amplifying other things around it. So this could be a week of amplification too if you're drawn to this um, or things just being expanded. Uh, but we'll get into the cards. So I always like to start with tarot then we'll get into oracle cards as well as letters and charms. So let's see. So your overall energy with your tarot is you guys have a two of cups and a two of swords. So there could be decisions being made this week around love, around some partnerships, around um, uh, just the relationships in your life. Um, you could be dealing with someone that is at a crossroads so to speak around making a decision as well um, or this could just be also making a decision about things that you love um, in this two of swords uh, typically it's someone not wanting to make a decision or want, not wanting to see the truth that kind of thing but I'm hearing trust your gut if, if it's you that's making this decision with this blindfold I'm being very drawn into that at this moment about this card um, so I'm hearing like just because you can't see something working out, it doesn't mean that that's going to be the truth. So this is there's a little bit of blind faith um, going on in this this choice or this decision that you may have to make um, here. Uh, so I'm just yeah, trust your gut, trust your intuition, um, follow what feels right for you, not what anyone else says. Like if you might have some naysayers and um, in the mix here with these crows kind of like, ah, you know, giving their opinion there. Um, I'm hearing just shut everything else out, go within and make your choice and trust that you know what's right for you. Um, so also just sidebar, this doesn't necessarily have to be about relationships. You could just be involved in making a choice this week or, you know, um, things can be coming down into one or another, but trust your gut is, is the major um, advice with this. Um, with this Two of Cups, so it could be a very loving week. You could be coming together with a soulmate. Uh, that kind of energy is here as well. I love this card. It's so pretty. Um, but it's a lot of just like mixing and blending of two energies um, in a very beautiful way. For some of you guys, again, this is relationship. And the others of you guys, this is about you almost like falling in love with yourself or falling in love with things that you love about yourself, which I think is also a very power powerful message. Two, um, two days out from watching this could be really important. The number 22 or synchronistic twos could be important this week as well. 
All right, next we have simplicity. So you're guided to, again, maybe maybe the, the right choice is the simple choice. Um, don't overcomplicate things this week. Take a simpler approach. With this feather here, keep an eye out for feathers. Uh, it might be your guides um, trying to give you a message. Um, but yeah, the, the big message is don't overcomplicate something that isn't complicated. Um, sometimes, you know, take a step back and be like, what is, what is the easiest way to do this? or um, what is the softest approach here? And kind of take that. Um, also for some of you guys, this could be about simplifying your life, removing some obstacles, removing clutter, uh, things like that. Just, just taking a simpler route, a more peaceful route. Um, something also that could have been um, very confusing for you could be evening out and becoming more simple this week. And divine intervention, divine timing is at play with this card as well. Next, you guys have uh, this card. I haven't really used this deck before. It's like this uh, witch fortune telling thing. I can't remember. I don't know. Um, but I'll read it to you guys, but then I'll, I'll give you guys my interpretation of the message around it. Um, and then this number seven is important too, uh, but it says the stork denotes change of residence uh, for the better sooner or later, according to the distance from which it relies from the person. Now that would be if I was using this whole deck for reading. But so with this card, there could be a new beginning with the stork. Storks represent a birth. Usually, you know, they're associated with babies. Um, so for some of you guys, there could be a baby coming in. You could be getting to see someone's friend that had a baby, um, something like that. Or, but with this card saying a change of residence um, for the better. So there could be choices around moving um, for you guys this week as well. Um, and, and depending, again, it could be something that's just starting to come into vision where you're planning something out in the future. Or for some of you guys, this could be actually happening this week. All right, next you guys had the scythe. So you're going to be cutting either something could be ending this week, possibly abruptly, or you could be cutting things out this week. Again, I'm hearing like, you know, cutting out the things that are complicating your life, simplifying things, getting rid of clutter, cutting over, you know, old outdated beliefs. Again, this is going to look a little different for everyone, but just know that some things, if things end this week, it's needed. Even if we're holding on to something that, you know, for whatever reason, we don't want to let go of, you know, ask yourself, is this the more, the, the, the more peaceful way to be and then allow something to end. Um, some of you guys could be getting closure on an old situation. Um, but, and then some of you guys may be just trimming the fat out of your life, right? You just cutting out things again that don't serve you. And, you know, really looking at that with this house kind of thing. So again, I keep getting this thing of like decluttering your house. Like if you, I don't know why this is the message, but this is for somebody. If you're having a hard time letting go of things, the clutter in your house that you're holding on to that you don't, might, might not quite know why you're holding on to it. I'm, I'm guided to say watch one of the, the the documentaries on being a minimalist. Not saying you need to do that, but something about that might put a little pep in your step about getting rid of some extra stuff that's around your house. So, all right. Um, next we have, what did we have? Celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. So this week, something could be changing with the number five here, um, but celebrations, possibly getting a gift from somebody, but you're ready to bring in new energy. So that also may involve cutting out old energy, letting things go um, that, yeah, aren't serving you, you know, making room for new energy to come in. Sometimes, you know, again, that, that involves getting rid of older energy, stagnant energy, things from the past, things you're holding on to that aren't serving you. Um, next, you guys have gliding through currents. With this approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease, going inward and bringing your understanding, perspective, and behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. So yeah, there's, there's something that's going to involve you going with the flow this week. Um, allow, again, being more of that simple approach, not fighting, not, not, not fighting against it, going with it, um, might be the simplest action to take. Um, again, could be around this choice. If you're not sure what to take, go with the simplest route, go with the, what, what, where, you know, things seem to be flowing better instead of trying to like have an uphill battle, go downstream, go with the flow. Um, we have contract here. 
Libra vibes coming in. So some of you guys could be con signing a contract. Someone could be buying a house with this change of residence um, or moving somewhere where you're signing a contract about, you know, actual real estate. Um, there could be some legal matters for some of you guys, but things evening out, um, justice working in your favor. There's more of this blind faith kind of message coming in with not being able to see things, but so you might have to trust uh, some stuff this week, even if you can't see how it's going to work out again, trust that it will. Um, I'm also hearing just, just pay attention to fine details. If you are signing any contracts this week, make sure you like, you know exactly what you're getting into or needing to get out of. And yeah, make sure it's a, it's a fair deal. Okay. Next we have go the distance. So, um, we do have this, um, finish line flag here. So some things you could be, something you've worked on for a long time could be wrapping up. Uh, you could be finally crossing the finish line or you're setting yourself on a new site of something to, to do. Um, this could happen very quickly with this cheetah in this picture. So again, a swift change could be coming in, um, Again, something ending abruptly, but maybe it needs to. Maybe you're finally getting to that finish line a little faster than you expected. But, and if there is something that you want, something that you see, you know, you are also being guided to go the distance, put in the work, do what you need to do to get yourself where you need to go. If you're not sure quite how to get there, it might just involve taking that first step and getting that momentum going and, and moving forward. But for like, yeah, forward momentum, going the distance, moving, gliding is, is a big, um, big thing in your guys, your guys's week forecast. Uh, next, ooh, this one's a good one. Sudden wealth. I'm sure everybody's like, heck yeah. So, you know, some money could come in. This could be big. This could be small. Um, but just know that there's going to be some sort of money either found or won. This week we do have a slot machine, 777s. Seven, seven, oh, I pointed out the seven here. Um, and the number 11 is on this card as well, 711. Um, I feel like that's somebody's birthday that's watching. Uh, but, um, or is someone important to them's birthday um, is 711 or 117 or 117. Okay. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Combination of, of 11 and seven. Um, anywho, uh, but yeah, sudden wealth. So this is a lucky week for monetary gain as well. So if you're guided to play a slot machine or go to Vegas, maybe someone takes taking a trip to Vegas. I don't know. Huh? Actually, I'm hearing like more like Atlantic city for some reason. Uh, but, um, but yeah, sudden wealth coming in. So when it comes to love, you guys had an eight of pentacles. So there may be a need to work through love or getting to work or some of you guys may be um, actually meeting a loved one via work. But this feels more about like working on your relationships, working on love, putting, investing some time into your connections that are important to you. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment. So some work could be going in. Someone also could be investing some time into your relationships this week and actually like healing through some stuff that maybe have broken or been hurt or um, some pains in the past surrounding love. And then, oh, and then you guys have passed. It says through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Uh, for some of you guys, somebody from the past may be coming back in too. I'm going to read it that way as well. But um, but yeah, there's going to be healing, possibly healing of past relationships. Again, may take some work, but it'll be worth it. So, and now we have a helicopter flying over our house. Doo -doo -doo. Hello, helicopter. Um... All right, so let's move on to charms and letters. So I always like to start with the zodiac dice. This could be someone's um, zodiac sign that you're dealing with heavily this week that could be your sign or the energy of this sign. So we have Scorpio coming in. Um, so that Scorpio energy, that eighth house energy. So there could be a, a death and rebirth, uh, something coming back around from the past, or you could just be dealing with someone of a water sign that says Scorpio. Um, maybe some hidden interesting information, kind of being very intrigued by that. Um, 
and I dropped this, but we have the ninth house. So this is about expansion. This could be about travel for some of you guys. This is about higher learning. This is growing, you know, learning more, expanding more. Gosh, I just, my ears have been like ringing this whole pile. And now like, I don't know, that's really weird. My ears just like clogged out. Okay, anyways, so strange. Um, I'm not sure what that was about. All right, moving along past my head shifting. All right, um, let's get you guys some letters. So sometimes this could be someone's initials, your initials, it spells words. I love when you guys type or write out what the words you saw because when I'm in a channeling state, I miss a lot of things. Um, it's like I'm in a different um, different mode. <laughs> so I, I, I miss some of the things that are blatantly obvious. So feel free to... If I miss a word or see something, you feel free to, to drop that in. Um, but yeah, also it could be a location, someone's initials, um, things like that. So we have an F, F, P, an H, a B, an S, and a T. For F6, you might say that a lot. My best friend says that all the time. It's like her favorite thing. She's British though, so it's very common over there. <laughs> anyway, so there's your letters. I'll hold those up for a second. F F S P H B T. All right, and then for um, for charms. So for pile one, what else do they need to know about their week? What do they need to keep in mind? Do they need to know a lot of things. I swear this little guy comes up and I have an entire bag and I shake it a lot. This guy's been coming up a lot. So we have this boat. Um, it says Croatia on it. So that might be important. Fishing could be important. Going on a cruise. Um, water, being connected to water. Um, it doesn't have to be a big boat because I'm literally in my mind's eye seeing someone in a very small boat. Um, like that's off. I'm literally like they're showing me a painting of someone in a rowboat and I don't know why but if that means something to somebody out there please take that it yeah it's a painting of someone in a rowboat and again I don't know why they give me the things that they give me but I just share it with you guys all right we had another letter we had another t so double t going on here we have the number one so ones could be important this week um so I'm going to think about the first house here First house can be important. So the house of self, like looking at yourself, your first impressions, new beginnings also um, can represent like the aces and tarot. So there could be a new beginning in something this week for you guys. You know, I talked about, you know, that new, like closing out old energy makes room for new things to come in. Um, gosh, we have a lot of little charms. So we have this little boy and this girl and a heart. So, you know, we did have that two of cups, which is the soulmate energy here. So a very loving little charm here, a chance to connect with someone. Obviously, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, a boy and a girl. It could be any gender you care to, to come up with. I'm just describing what's in this. Um, love is love, guys. So, um, but very loving. And again, a chance for connecting with someone in a loving way. We have a palm tree. We have also have a starfish. So, you know, some of you guys could be planning a trip to a tropical location. Palm trees always remind me to tell you guys to be flexible. Palm trees tend to bend in a storm, not break um, or get uprooted. So, but they do that by being flexible. So there's something that's going to cause or involve flexibility this week um, with the starfish. And then we do have another star here. So making a wish or having a wish come true, something you've been pining away for for a while could be uh playing out this week we do have time and play so um time could be a factor this also this week uh, it's like i'm seeing this week going by really quickly um in a quick manner um no, don't forget to stop and smell the roses make sure you're being playful not taking things so seriously we have this owl here with a heart so there could be new information around love uh, coming in as well. We have this infinity sign with love. So again, someone, I feel like someone is coming back from the past, um, a past loved one, a past loving connection could be coming back in this week. 
we have this apple and I'm being like very reminded of when, you know, the, you see like kids bring teachers an apple, like in old things or whatever. So, um, there could be a sense of learning and, and um, yeah, with this owl here. So that you could be, um, we did have that ninth house. So ninth house can also, um, represent, you know, higher learning. So some of you guys could be going back to school or planning to gain more knowledge around an area that you want to expand in. Um, so I'm really getting teacher vibes here. So some of you guys could be a teacher as well or dealing with a teacher this week, but yeah, I'm getting massive teacher vibes off the apple. We have a butterfly. So things changing and transforming, new beginnings. Sometimes we have to go through the cocoon phase, which is not pretty. It's the caterpillar turns to mush before it becomes the butterfly. Um, but this, with the butterfly being here, you know, transformation has happened or is in the middle of happening. You should be at the end of the rope. And last but not least, we got this little skeleton here. So it reminds me of a skeleton in the closet, you know, getting these vibes of finding a truth out, finding out something, possibly something from the past that has affected you, but I think it will help you heal. So there could be a secret coming to light here with this little skeleton. So guys, I'll let you guys pot, like take a gander at that. If any of these mean something else to you, please always take that. Trust your intuition. I'm not gonna pick up on everything for everybody. So um, honor that if it means something else to you. Um, so there you go, pile one. Um, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop me an emoji um, in a comment. That really helps. Um, say, hey, what's up, Joy? Um, <laughs> whatever. Uh, again, any comments that you guys leave on videos, it does help grow uh, the video or get interaction. And I, this is my favorite reading doing this reading actually kind of counts against me um, because most people want to watch my love readings but um, or just my love focused readings but this is a reading that I'll always continue to do because I love it so much so I hope more and more of you guys do start watching these readings and enjoying it and um, and letting me know when stuff comes true that's one of my favorite things a lot of people will hit me up on um, on my Instagram and let me know that XYZ happened or oh my god or this or that and I, I love those stories um it really makes me excited to hear those. So again, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for pile two. You guys picked this Eye of Shiva, which is a fossilized shell in the shape of a heart. Very pretty. And we are going over what you can expect in the week ahead, what you can, um, what you need to know in the next seven days from the time you're watching this reading. This is a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter when it was recorded. Um, just know that, yeah, in the next seven days, this is what you have to look forward to. I always like to start off with the tarot, and then we'll do um, oracle cards as well as letters and charms. There will be a section on love um, as well in this. So, you guys have a King of Swords and the Queen of Wands here. So clarity around the things that light you up are gonna be important or highlighted this week. Um, finding uh, almost like a crystal clear vision around what excites you. Um, and then also you could be having a lot of big inspirations that are helping you see things in a new way here. Um, really exciting, like very, like, yeah, being inspired, uh, getting very clear about like your passions, your wants, your desires, um, possibly gaining some new knowledge around those things. Um, you could be learning like a whole new like skill set that really like sets you on fire. Like look how like vibrant this Queen of Wands is. So it's like, being in this energy where it's just, you're so in love with life again um, and being able to see why, like getting this clear path about where your passions are taking you, where the things that light you up, where those little sparks of fire within you are going and getting um, really like, like getting a good plan, getting um, really clear about that. Um, and, uh, but if I separate these, um, this also, you could be dealing with, um, just getting some new knowledge, again, getting clarity around some stuff, um, really expanding, but I'm hearing being very decisive about things this week is going to be very helpful. And, and you may have a lot of new knowledge coming in lots of different angles. Like I'm being very drawn into like 
all these animals are kind of in this different point from this guy in the center. So I just feel like there's gonna be a lot of information coming at you that's gonna help you see, uh, see, possibly even see your future more clearly. So some of you guys, if you're on like a spiritual kind of um, path, you might be getting some downloads, some you know knowledge coming in unexpectedly, but it's really gonna spark like this new revival of vivaciousness, I don't know why that's the word I'm getting, um, into your life uh, here. Yeah, it, it, like the energy's looking really good for your overall energy. Let me move along to the um, oracle cards. You guys, ooh, we have taking risk. Another bird here, another flying animal, because we have a bat, a crow, a dragonfly, and an owl in this, and I'm being very drawn into all of them in this card, and here we have an eagle flying above um, and really seeing things, but you're, you're gonna, there's gonna be something that's gonna involve you taking a risk, taking a leap of faith this week, really going after whatever this is that's lighting you up and really taking a chance on it, um, and trusting, uh, trusting in yourself, trusting in your abilities, trusting in your wings this week, and just like take that leap of faith and take a risk. Um, next, you guys have um, it says Amor is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. Uh, so we have a little Cupid here. So this could be you know someone you know lovingly looking at you this week. Uh, this heart is bleeding <laughs> though. So for some of you guys, it could be someone is kind of infatuated with you and you don't feel the same, that could be coming up too. Um, but overall, it should be like a loving week. Um, you could be struck by love this week too with this arrow here. Um, but overall, someone's looking at you with great love and longing. So you might have someone keeping an eye on you. Someone could be wanting to take a risk on you, um, possibly an air sign. We got fire signs here, but this, this air sign feels very significant in this pile this week. Okay, um, next we have the ways. So there may be, um, I love how there's similar mountains in this, very desert-like looking mountains. So there may be a need to make a choice this week, make a pivot change, a course correction. Again, some of this new knowledge may make you make a different decision about where you're moving forward in your life, which may involve a risk. Um, so yeah, this is about decisions. So some sort of decision is coming up um, this week that you're going to have to make a choice about. Okay. Oh, okay. So we have beware. It says be careful who you trust at this time. So there may be someone in your week that you need to be mindful of how much sh you're sharing information. This could be about the risk that you're going to take. Um, you might need to like, if you're kind of planning this out and it seems a little crazy and people might put in their negative input of why, how you should do something, you know, you might just want to keep this plan to yourself this week um, because there's someone that, you know, might not be super trustworthy around or it's just their vision of what your future should look, look like might be different from this new new track you're taking and you don't need them to derail you if you feel like this is something that you need to do for yourself. So just be mindful of that. Um, so this feels like just keep some information to yourself. Okay, um, next we have a change direction with ease. This is a time for change, shape shifting or your soul's evolution. This is time to reconsider what you are wanting and you may be in for a surprise. So as you take this risk, as you take a leap of faith, possibly change your whole course correction of where you're going, you could be in for a surprise. But And it feels like this will be an easy change. Because again, if you're following this internal guidance system, you're following what lights you up, even if it doesn't make sense to anybody else, it's all going to play out at like if things just start falling in places because that's how like it's where your soul wants to go. So this change will be able to happen with ease. Uh, we have action. Gosh. Yeah, this is a week not to like sit on your hands or anything. This is a week to actually do stuff, guys. Like put put these this fire into play. Even if you're a little scared, you're being guided to really take action on some stuff that you want, taking action towards things that you want to bring into your life, um, taking a little bit of risk and possibly changing direction. Whew, okay. 
Uh, next you have blessed. So just know that you are blessed. Things are coming in. You know, this feels divinely guided. If it, if it is like sparking, you know, this passion in your soul, there's a reason. It's because it's what your soul wants to do. You know, your soul's like, hey, no, this is what we wanted. This is this is it. And so you're you're going to be blessed if you follow those those sparks, even if it's scary. Um, there is a blessing here. You're it's you know very divinely guided uh, intervention. Twenty two is popping up here. Seventeen might be really important. Um, at the time I'm recording this, I don't know. I I don't know what day it is. I guess that's the seventh day from when I'm recording this. So no, this will come out on the twelfth. So anyway, sorry. Um, this is still a timeless reading. So the seventeenth, if that happens to come up while you're watching this, it might be an important day. So maybe circle it. Um, but uh, yeah, but taking action and taking a risk is important in changing direction. Uh, oh, and then yeah, you guys got change on this one too. So. Change is good this week. Making a change, following yourself, following that light, being very drawn into the lanterns here. So finding that, you know, your, your internal guidance system, your internal light, and really following it and honoring that. And you'll start seeing your way through, um, through the darkness, possibly, if you've been kind of in this kind of like a hole. Like I feel like some of you guys have been planted and now you're going to bloom, you're going to break through. But yeah, even I, I didn't point it out, but the queen of wands here is very drawn into the candlelight. So there is a message around light being the light, being a torch, being a guiding light for others. Maybe that's your soul's path as it wants to do this thing. And it may take a, a leap of faith or a risk to go after that. But yeah, it's, it's very, um, change is important. It's, it's a good change, uh, this week. So for love, before we get into letters and charms, we have a king of cups that came up. So you guys have king of cups, queen of wands, king of cups popping up. But this is our love section of the reading. So this is emotional availability. This is um, deep emotional feeling. So someone could be expressing those to you. You could be feeling them from somebody. Someone could be coming in in a very loving way. Uh, this is also you feeling like, you know, you're very fulfilled from the inside out. If you don't have anyone in your life right now, um, uh, you have satisfaction. It says, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. That was kind of what this message about you know, just because other people can't see where you're going, it doesn't mean you have to listen to them. You got to follow yourself. So don't let other people define you this week um, and really follow your own heart. And find those, you know, take the counsel of those who, who see your vision, you know. You may be, there's, there's a surprise around love and I don't know, quite know what that is. Um, you guys also had look inside yourself, examine what's causing you to feel this way. So that's good and negative emotions. Anything that comes up, you know, examine why you're feeling this way around love. Maybe some of you guys are going to do a deep dive into your own heart this week and really uncover some stuff um, until you're finally satisfied and really, you know, getting your own approval and defining yourself for who you are. Okay, so let's do letters and charm as I knock half the stuff over. All right, so let's see. I always like to start with a zodiac dice. This could be someone you're dealing with heavily this week or the energy of this sign, or this could be your sign. So we have Pisces. So dreams are also going to be important this week. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, that watery energy, that spiritual energy. Uh, some of you guys could be getting messages in dreams, though. Um, and the house focus is the fifth house, which is ruled by Leo. A uh, fifth house is about um, children, playful, being on stage. Um, that childlike energy is going to be important this week. Having fun, being playful with life. You know, you might be taking risks, but it's almost like, again, this vivaciousness that the Queen of Wands has. It's like um, really owning that energy and like really guiding or going after what really lights you up and what what makes you like in love with life again um okay uh so let's do letters so this could be someone's initials sometimes it spells words i miss a lot of the words so feel free to drop them if i don't say them in the comment section or a location i swear it sounds like somebody's in my house and no one's here so <laughs> weird background noises anyways um Ooh, we got a lot of letters. All right, we have a C, 
an E, an H, M, K, G, W, holy cow, Q, N, L, R, and A. I'm sure there's a lot of words and a lot of things that can be spelled. I'm not going to try to do them. I'm just going to leave them here for you guys. So there's some of your letters. Take a gander of those. Feel free to make whatever words. And I would love it if you guys drop those in the um, in the description box. Uh, anyways, so let's keep going for your charms. So pile two charms. What do they need to know? What do they need to keep in mind this week? Let's see charms for pile two. Okay, a bunch of things. All right, let's keep this up. We have hello. So someone could be popping in with a hello. Possibly, I always feel like this is someone from the past. But then I also hear the Adele song, hello. <laughs> Which uh, is kind of a past kind of thing. But this could be an unexpected hello. We have the moon. So more Pisces energy, more dreamlike energy. Um possibly dealing with some fears as well. There could be fears wrapped up in choosing yourself or going after this thing. So you might have to work with that. We have always. So that always reminds me of, you know, Harry Potter and how Snipe always loved Lily. Um, but something like something that's been around for a long time may still always be there. We have boo. So definitely some sort of surprise is coming in for you guys. And wow. So something exciting surprise coming in. We have a star and a wish. So ooh, always wish upon a star right there. So some wishes that you may have made on the star at some point in your life may be coming true. Um, maybe a wish that you always wish upon a star. I mean, I will forever do that. No matter how old I get, I always wish on stars. And I say the whole thing. We have this little robot with a heart here. So someone might seem a little robotic in your life, but they really are trying to share their genuine feelings. Um, whoop, we have a lemon. So life may give you lemons a little bit this week, so make lemonade. Um, but also something may come across and feel a little sour. But I just noticed on this limit, it kind of looks like it has a peace sign here. So you may, you might find peace in, like surprising peace in something that at first seemed like it was going to be a bad thing, but ends up being a good thing. Um, we have this little remote controller. So some of, somebody of you could be a gamer, very literal here, playing a game. Someone could be playing a game with you. Be mindful of that. We did have that beware. Um, but this is also about you being in control of things and recognizing that you're in control of your life. Um, we have a little jack-o'-lantern. So Halloween might, something might be coming back up from Halloween. Something might be important, but it goes back into this scary kind of thing. As in, like, this boo, like, surprise also. Um, we have a parrot. So something could be repeating a repeating pattern could be coming up. Also, you know, some gossip coming up or being mindful who you're telling things to because they may be repeating it to other people. So don't tell anyone that you wouldn't want everyone to know. Uh, we have a magic hat. So a sense of magic this week, but also a surprise. I really feel like this is a good surprise. Something should be coming up that's surprising that you weren't expecting this week. We have a little message about you doing great. So you're doing very great. Keep on trucking. Make sure, you know, you are seeing yourself clearly and all the things that you've done. I'm hearing have some grace for your whole path. Um, even if you're not where you think you're meant to be, you are doing great. Um, and then we have this little paper clip. So I feel like some things are, are being tied up or attached. Some of you guys could be getting attached to other people. Some attachments could be coming in. Some things uh, getting put together or pieced together here. So, all right, guys, I'm going to hold this up. If, if some of these mean something else to you, please always take it. I'm not going to pick up on everything. Always trust your intuition there. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for spending your time with me. It's truly an honor, and I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye, guys. Hello, 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 my lovely friends for Pile 3. You guys picked this really awesome onyx. Such a cool-looking one. I saw this in the store, and I was like, yep, you need to come home with me. Very cool-looking crystal here. Okay, so we are going over what you can expect in the week ahead. 
Um, what do you need to know for the next seven days? Anything that may come up? Um, I always like to start with our tarot, then we'll do oracle cards as well as charms and letters. <clears throat> now my throat just got really dry all of a sudden. Whew, okay. So for your tarot, we have an Ace of Pentacles. So a new beginning, a tangible new beginning, a new offer could be coming in for you, an offer of financial abundance, um, or just a new start about something that came in with a page of cups. So together, someone could be making some sort of loving offer, expressing some feelings here for you. Um, we do have this little pig flying, so it might be something that you didn't think could happen. <laughs> like when pigs fly kind of vibe. Um, but, uh, so also some playful, fun energy coming in for some of you guys. It's also, I feel like some of you guys are going to have some like childlike excitement, childlike fun this week, um, as well. Uh, but definitely some new beginnings, possibly around love guys, but, um, just also just a new beginning of feeling like lighthearted and fun about a lot of things in your life. And again, something unexpected um, that you never, maybe never thought could quite happen. Also, uh, for some of you guys could be a, a very much in your head, but getting maybe some new ideas through imagination this week, because I'm really paying attention to that. It's basically this guy watching himself floating up and the, like your head in the clouds. But this feels like really good energy. So some of you guys may spark a new idea um, or be able to come up with something around some, that will eventually help you financially um, by being imaginative and very creative this week as well. Okay, so next we have flexibility. So we have this tiger in this kind of bamboo forest here. But I'm hearing that yeah, this week is going to involve um, bending and not breaking. So sometimes, you know, things might not always go our way. It's how we react. If you be, if you're really rigid about the way something needs to go, sometimes that can break you. But if you can bend and be a little more flexible, you might find that you snap back much easier or things don't affect you as much. So there is a message about being flexible here for your week. Um, you guys have this order denotes honor and recognition of labor. Be sure, uh, be sure a sign of business, uh, a sure sign of business success. So, so, you know, with this coming in with Ace of Pentacles, some of you guys could be getting some recognition through work or having a new success, a new financial success at work um, or through your business. I'm being very drawn into the fact that I know, like, sorry, the name Jack. I don't know. The name Jack might be important for somebody. I don't know. I'm just, like, literally, they're like, Jack, Jack, Jack. I'm like, oh, okay. So, something around, for some of you guys, someone might be named Jack that's watching or have someone important because I'm being very guided to say the word Jack. Um, or Jack of all trades might be, like, a nickname for somebody. Anyways, moving on, but this ultimately is getting recognition, possibly getting a medal, getting an award through work or something that you've done, a labor of love, something like that, but getting recognition this week. Uh, oh, we have the clover. So again, thanks with good luck. Good luck is coming your way. Um, again, maybe finding something surprisingly uh, or, you know, you might be surprised by this honor that you're getting that you weren't expecting. But, you know, good luck and serendipitous kind of things are coming in your week. Um, we have the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. So, you know, if you're using like your, your, imagination, or your imagination to kind of dream up some stuff for yourself that is coming from like an internal place, you know, that could be your intuition trying to give you signs and synchronicities about what you need to do. Um, and, and just know that you can move ahead confidently, like luck is on your side, you know, honors on your side. Again, you might need to be a little flexible, but things are looking really good. I'm also getting Pisces vibes here between the moon and, um, this page of cups or also cancer vibes. Um, the moon, um, Cancer's ruled by the moon, sorry. Um, someone could also be attending a 21st birthday for somebody else, like a friend or someone could be turning 21. Um, or someone's playing black, blackjack. <laughs> Maybe someone's gonna be lucky playing blackjack and get something financial stuff 
coming in. So if you have someone offering you to go play blackjack, I'm gonna say go do that. Oh, maybe that's where that jack's coming in. Weird. Okay, anyways, all right, <laughs> moving along. I surprise myself sometimes. All right, anyways, uh, we have surrounded by prosperity. Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside beyond, or uh, outside the known is beyond measure. So yeah, prosperous week, pile three. I'm just hearing like your rigidity about something could be keeping you from here. So if you learn to be more flexible, some things are just gonna start flowing in. Like a lot, like very financial, again, honors, awards, money, things like that. Very good luck here. Maybe playing blackjack. Maybe that's what that Jack was about. They were like, Jack, Jack, okay. <laughs> but with the 21, it just, you know, made me think of that. If you win, a, someone out there wins a lot of money for Blackjack, feel free to send some this way. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, but yeah, you're going to be surrounded by prosperity. Again, new beginnings, but this feels very financial. Luck is on your side. It's, it's feeling really good week, guys. Oh, and then we have a woman holding a coin. So some of you guys could be getting, you know, money from somebody else. Someone's giving you money. That could be a woman in your life. Um, you could be, if you are a woman, get, again, getting more money coming in, getting to hold that money. This is a, another card of abundance. Very abundant week, pile three. Uh, next, you guys had TikTok. And I'm kind of interested in the fact that there's both these like hands on the money and hands on the time. So it feels like the time is now. Don't hesitate about something, you know, move forward with something, but you might feel like the clock is ticking. Um, also, time could be going by very fast this week. Um, I'm also hearing time management for some of you guys is going to be extremely important. If you already know this, just be like, okay, there's my extra nod that time management is important this week. Don't let time get away from you. But I feel like this is the time to act on something. Now I'm here. Okay, I've never seen. I don't even know what the name of the movie is. Uh, the old movie, old musical about St. Louis, St. Louis. Ding, ding, ding goes the trolley. I have no idea why that's playing in my head right now. I can't, I, I, I have no idea what that's about. Oh, it's Meet Me in St. Louis is this old musical. I've never actually seen it, but there's a song from that musical that's playing in my head right now. So hopefully that means something to somebody. If that means something to you, please drop that in the comments because that is so weird to me right now. I just keep hearing that song playing. So, so weird. Anywho, okay. Um, so St. Louis might be important for some of you guys. Um, also just, I think Judy Garland's in that. So Judy Garland might be important to some of you guys. Oh my gosh. I have no idea. That was so weird. I wish my guides were more clear. Any of you guys that are spiritual, just know, even though I have all these gifts and stuff, it still is a mystery for me half the time as well. <laughs> if that makes you feel any better. Most of the time I'm like, what? So I get a lot of stuff don't always know what it's about. Especially in readings for you guys, there's so much weird stuff that comes up. I just share it, but to me it feels absurd. Um, but anyways, there we go. Moving along, we have main of female. So women in your life might be important, connecting with women, um, feeling like the main female. Someone may finally be honoring you in their life as the main female. Um, we do have a rose here, so someone could be getting a rose, uh, being honored uh, as this main person that's done a lot of stuff, being highlighted um, as a woman, or just someone, you know, some of you guys could be getting like a motherly figure too, um, or an aunt. Maybe someone's getting an inheritance from an aunt that passes away. I'm not sure. Maybe an aunt from St. Louis or that like that movie, <laughs> or named Judy or Jack. I don't know. All right, I'm going to stop. I'm trying to like make sense of all these crazy. Today's been a crazy reading. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting like the craziest visions and I don't normally get them in readings that much, but whew, I feel like I'm losing it a little bit. Okay, moving along as you guys watch me fall apart <laughs> here on screen. Hopefully you guys are laughing with me. 
All right, so when it comes to love, you guys have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are changing this week. Some destinies coming in. Possibly some karmic things are closing out. Karmic cycles working through. Working through our lessons. Working through balancing out things. That's what karma is, is balance. Um, but when it comes to love, things should be shifting. The Wheel of Fortune is also about good luck. Again, more good luck for you guys. Like This is a very lucky week. I feel like... I feel like at least one pile every week lately has been all about like this good fortune coming in. So that's very exciting. I wish I would get it too. <laughs> um, oh, and then we got, you guys had joy. So I love that when it popped out. It says you delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So when it comes to your loving connections, your love connections this week, you should be feeling that sense of joy, that feel of excitement, that sense of fulfillment. Um, again, this could be a change, a shift going on from shifting from feeling one way to shifting and feeling like another. Again, a new beginning could be coming in. And then we have don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So there's a reminder about being, you know, your truthful, authentic, joyful self this week. And that also could be what changes some dynamics in your life. All right. Let's move along to letters and charms. Okay, so I always like to start with a zodiac dice. So this could be your sign, someone else's sign that you're dealing with heavily this week, or the energy of this sign. All right, so we have a Capricorn coming in. So um, possibly some career stuff could be at focus. This is an earth sign. Um, this also can be about money. I feel like a lot of Capricorns I know are very focused on that, not in a bad way, just, you know, they get, sh they get stuff done. Sorry. I <laughs> almost cussed there. Um, being very tried and true, uh, but also about your careers because they do rule the, the 10th house and three, the, the third house. So communication and siblings could be highlighted this week. Um, uh, neighbors, like your neighboring surrounding area could be important also. All right, let's get you some letters. So this could, a lot of times it spells out words. I typically miss them when I'm in channeling state. So feel free to drop any words that you see if I don't say them. Um, this also could be someone's initials, your initials, or a location. Okay, let's see. So we have an M L L T H W and a C. Not really going to make much words without that, without a vowel there, but. Um, oops, we have W T H. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Sorry. Um, anyway, so th there's your letters and let's get you guys some charms. So what else does pile three need to know about their upcoming week, please? What do we need to know? Okay. So we have beauty. So Beauty could be highlighted, seeing the beauty. We also have secret on the back here. So a secret could be coming to light. Um, a truth could be coming out, um, but also stopping and seeing the beauty in life. Someone could be calling you beautiful. Um, also, some of you guys could just be working on a better beauty routine. Could be that simple. We have this band-aid with this heart. So some of you guys could be healing your heart, working on healing your heart chakra this week. We have the banana, so something could be a little crazy this week, a little off the wall, but it feels really fun. We have a helicopter here, so um, looking at things from a higher perspective, allowing yourself to get lost up in the clouds. I think that's really important, allowing yourself and your imagination to run wild and see where it takes you, because um, it's going to take you to be able to see something new. Um, we have a palm tree here, so always reminded about flexibility again. You guys did have this flexibility card. Palm trees bend, they don't break in storms and they don't get uprooted. I mean, it happens, but typically they are designed to bend, um, especially if you've ever seen like a hurricane or anything come through, it will bend the crap out of uh, some, some palm trees, but they typically don't break. So flexibility is massive this week. Um, we have judgment. So something, something could be coming back, back to life. 
You could be having some realizations, some epiphanies. Uh, someone could be coming back from your past here with the judgment card. Um, we have a sunflower here. So a nod to always keep your head turned to the sun and allow the shadows to fall behind you. Uh, sunflowers might have a special meaning for some of you guys. Um, it recently had a bigger, through through crazy things that come up in my readings, um, had a has had a more profound um, experience for myself with my gifts. So I, it makes me very happy to see this um, here. Um, so those, I know some of those people that were involved know what I'm talking about with this sunflower. If you're watching, here's a nod for you from that person. Um, very beautiful. And then we have this rainbow with this heart. So just know that, you know, after the storms is when rainbows come out and like, that's when your heart starts to heal. I, I'm getting a big message about a heart healing this week. There could be a secret that comes through so that provides some closure for some of you guys that helps your heart heal um, or a message. So, all right, I'm going to hold this up. If any of these mean something else to you, please take that message. Always honor your own internal, um, your own intuition, your own discernment. I'm not going to pick up on everything. As crazy as the messages come in, I do miss some. <laughs> so um, there you guys go. As always, thank you for spending your time with me. I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, even if it's just an emoji, it really helps me out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a future reading. Bye, guys.